Ladies and gentlemen, I am Yisrael. Welcome once again to the Outer Worlds. Agnes's little boy, well, not so little boy, and not really a boy either, is on his way back to Stella Bay to show Mummy what he's learned during his time in the wilderness. Will it persuade Mummy? Probably not. We, however, are on our way up to Fulbrook. We have to make contact with the sublight shipping agent there, and we also have to chase down a few other quests as well. So take a left here. Of course, the slight problem that the previous sublight contact turned out to be, well, very dead. Yeah. If I fall in, you'll pull me out, right? Maybe. Maybe not. Depends how far in you are and how acidic that is. Because that is prob well, let's be honest, there is probably some sulfur involved. But there's also probably quite a bit of sulfuric acid in the mix as well. Well done. Yay! Yes, you notice. Congratulations. Okay, any more for any more. It's like full books just up ahead. Oh, what are, oh, painted howlers, eh? Well, let's go hunting. Fire it up. Yep, that works. Come on, howlers. Sorry, Parvati. Look, I am a bit too far to the left. There was a teensy accident and that's a mantisaur. I don't think I want to meet a mantisaur just yet. Today, let's uh, stick to the road. Just a couple of, well, three lawful travellers about their lawful occasions. Heavily armed. Ah, right. And this would be the locals. Yes, I got them. Well done for noticing. Oh, acid, eh? I want your gun, sir. Anybody throwing acid ammo around has got to have something worth it. Oh, boom. Boo, 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 boo. No acid gun to loot. That would be kind of useful to have just to round out the damage types. Still, shot seems to work pretty well against most things. So maybe I don't need to be in such a rush for that. All right. Just keep motoring. Or in this case, just keep jogging. Yeah, another Marauder ambush dealt with. Don't know how many honest, hard, working, decent folk they were looking to shake down, but then they met us, and now they aren't looking to shake down anymore. Right, Fulbrook. Hurrah. We're here. Excellent. So, first order of business is going to be finding... To somewhere in here. Ah, yes. Meet with Catherine. Who, who should be in here? Why? No, no. No, not really. Do, 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 do. Welcome to Fulbrook. Hmm. Not the best choice. In fact, not even a good choice, let's be honest. But hey, if you're completely stuffed for options. Hello, Mortimer. You be the town guard, I take it. In, or you might need directions to the amenities. If you're locked out of your cabin, a replacement key costs 50 bits. Uh, Lilia sent me. Where's Catherine? You, uh, you're looking for Ms. Malin. Yep. Iron for the boss lady? Oh, oh, that sounds ominous. Yeah. Uh, Ms. Malin won't like that a whit. Oh, dear. What have I just walked into? Breathe. It's okay. Just point me to Ms. Malin. She's... She's not, but just down the way. A ten to one says she's either pouring drinks or skinning a sprat in the saloon. Okay. Uh, Ms. Malin, don't take kindly to interlopers. When I said sprat, I didn't mean the sort with whiskers and a tail. You mean the sort that's about six feet long? And facilitate your needs, patron. Thank you. Okay, I'll be back. Welcome to what looks like a company town. Not a sandwich, Pavati. Probably just the filling in a sandwich. Right, Malin's House of Hospitality. That looks like a good place to start. Okay. How's this going? Right, Catherine Malin. Hello there. You blind fella? 
Or can you not see I'm busy? I'm Why here from... Every sissy pig fucker who strolls into my town expects me to smile and shout awful friendly. Welcome to Fallbrook. I'm here Only from the Groundbreaker. Entire law forsaken land. Like a void damn Adbury. Sorry to trouble you, Ms. Malin. I understand you're a terribly important figure in these parts. All right, Matt's got there first. To a man by the name of Reginald Cheney. That sprat shit better not have brought trouble into my town. He's a long-term renter, easily replaceable. Check his domicile. Whatever happens, I don't fucking care. Just keep the mess from staining my little nugget of paradise, and we'll be grand. Well, she might be criminal scum, but I kind of like her. Uh, if by nugs of paradise I mean piece of mantidung, then sure. You know, I ain't heard that one before. Suppose I'll have to work harder to show you just what makes our town shine. But first, I'll need to know what brings you, stranger. Well, I'm half listening. Okay, well, she's honest. Actually, I'm the fixer. The bo oh, the boss sent me you, Oaf. That sounds like the better way to take it, doesn't it? Funny. You don't look like one of Lilia's. Sure sound the part, though. Excellent. Good of you to finally haul your ass over here. I wired for backup weeks ago. And now it's here. It's something that's going to require special extraction from Cascadia. Special as in ballistic. Okay, I found the passcode. I guess it grants access to the extraction site. Found it on a corpse, huh? If you kill Actually, Lilia's we really Lilia, did. You get to explain it to her. Not me. He was dead when I got there. Well, shit. I knew he'd come to a bad end one day. You don't exactly retire Still, at this job, do you? Weeping and wailing. We've got a metric fuck ton of bits worth of salvage just waiting for extraction. Aha. Uh -huh. Extraction. How special and what sort of something? Special as in unlawful, delicate, and deadly. The usual. As to the something, no, it ain't a person. Not this time. Not the usual. One of my runners uncovered a cache of Alta Vitae gas left in a lab when the board abandoned Cascadia. Oh ho. To extract the gas, you'll need to siphon it from the lab in Cascadia into one of your ship's fuel tanks. What? Totally safe. Until somebody hooks a fuel tank up to the engine. What the heck is Alta Vitae gas anyway? Do I look like one of them egghead science types? All I know is that labs use it to create plants and livestock out of local species. Oh good, it's but mutagen. It's a commodity, available only to the board. So it is of high value on the dark market. Okay, so uh, I can... I can get it done. Just have to be careful not to breathe the stuff, and we'll have to make sure that particular fuel tank doesn't get wired up to the engines, or, well, <laughs> yeah, that will be hilarious. I do like your gumption, but let's not be hasty. What's the catch? To get your gas, you'll need to navigate through the town, which is overrun by marauders. Eh, that's not a problem. The itself has become an infested nest, crawling with mantis. You gotta fight through, or figure out some other way to exterminate it. Maybe that might be a problem. System. Maybe. Our sawbones could probably cook something up. I shall leave the details to you. You do that. Now, after you clear the manty nest and reach the storage room, all that's left is to get the gas flowing into the fuel system. And the what's the catch? It require someone with technical skills. Or you could force it through with a plasma overload. Don't recommend that option, though, unless you want to get dead. Avati, you're up. Good thing we have an engineer. Load vapors into a liquid propellant tank? I, I think I know how to do that. No, I can do that. I think. Yes. Mostly? Definitely. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Did I mention the gas is of an extremely volatile nature? Handle it with the utmost of care. Once you've oh. got our goods, take them to the groundbreaker. Lilia's fencers ought to handle the rest of it. I've okay. I've coordinates for you to the lab in Cascadia. On the terminal, use the passcode you got from Stellar Bay to get in. But before you make your run, I could use a heavy helping hand regarding a local issue. For a fine fee, of course. Uh, always for a fee. Okay, I might be interested. Good. This particular matter of opportunity has been eating at me for a while now. 
Uh huh. There's a Borst factory on up the way, run by a man who calls himself the King, Clive Lundberg, insufferable prick. That aside, it's a business ripe for the plucking. I want it. Clear as that. Okay, this is going to involve murder and mayhem, isn't it? Stars, I hope so. All ah, right, she's one of these Clive people. Lundberg, the self-proclaimed Borst King of Mono, is swimming in profit. And drowning in his ego. He's making the only meal to be had this side of Monarch, and I'm tired of ponying up for my dinner. I want that forest factory, owner dead or alive. And you're the soon to be handsomely paid son of a bitch who's gonna get it for me. Okay. And what specifically do you want me to do? Kill him, run him out. I don't rightly care for the details, so long as Clive knows resistance to me is costly. And futile. Uh -huh. Aha. In his gut or his production lines ought to make do. Okay, any tips on how I get in? If you got brass knockers, you can shoot your way through the front gate. Huh? If you don't fancy getting shot to shit, you can try asking Duncan for a disguise. That sounds like a better be option. Way in, assuming you're courageous enough to trek the sewers. Uh, ha ha ha. Yeah, right. Say I just wanted to sabotage the factory. Then I'd say you might care to poison the sisty pips, doctor a few financial records, or throw a wrench in the canning machine. Doctoring the financials sounds like the best way to do it. It'll be more Anything else will hit production. Finish. Maybe not for Clive, but for me and you, I'm sure. Maybe. Oh, if you don't fancy going in guns blazing or crawling through a sewer pipe, see Duncan in the dry goods and sundry building. He ought to have an employee ID in that stash of illicit goods he keeps for select clientele. Of course. They select. With you, since I won't be. Eh, neither were any of the other um, contractors. So, we need to go... To get on Ms. Bad side. Yeah, I'd kind of got to that position. Yeah. Bastard coated bastard with a bastard filling would pretty much sum Catherine Malin up, wouldn't it? Alright, we need to go find. Actually, no, let's get the next step of Reginald Cheney because he should be in Fulbrook somewhere. And, oh, 30 meters that way. That is nice and handy. Hello? Reggie? Reggie? Oh, no one's home. Doesn't look like he cleared out in a hurry, does it? Stuff's still here. Namely his drugs. We've got his model spaceship. Energy cells, ammo, ammo. Minimal stops thereof, but... Okay, let's have a look at this. Can't believe I'm still stuck, but I found a spot with promise. Down the tunnel on the riverbank outside the town produced one nugget and two teeth. He's panning for gold. Yep. And I guess even scholars need to find ways to make ends meet in exile. Can't eat books. Well, you can. Very, very briefly, if you don't mind horrible indigestion and possibly eventual starvation. But I'm sure paper has enough carbohydrates in it eventually, once you're around the gastrointestinal distress. Then again, maybe not. All right, the river. And so dangerous. Okay. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Ah! Reginald Shady! Perfect. Max, we found your contact. Please tell me he actually speaks French. What do you want? Oh, hey, Vicar Max. What are you doing on Monarch? I thought scientists ain't welcome here. He's having a crisis of faith. Everyone's welcome here. It's a fucking worker's paradise. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Never worked a day in your miserable life. You're just a parasite, living off my goodwill. Well, guess what? My goodwill's exhausted, along with my temper. This has taken a bit of a change. Uh... 
This guy doesn't look like much of a scholar, Max. Care to explain? This is the guy who told me about the book while we were in prison. Ah. Finding a scholar. Oh. Oh. Okay. Fair enough. Any of that anymore? I just want to inflict massive amounts of pain on this guy. Okay. You're going to give up everything you've ever believed in just for revenge? Yes. That's about the long and short of it. Oh. Oh right. Okay. Where were we? Oh, that's right. I was about to beat you severely. Um. Wait, wait, I know who can translate the book for you. Go on. Too late for that. I threw away my life chasing fairy tales. Will punishing you fix any of that? Of course not. But by law, it will make me feel a whole lot better. Actually, no, it won't. But um, uh, Matt, stop. It's not too late. Okay, okay. Talk, Reggie. It was stolen from some sort of expert on philosophism. Weird hermit lady on Scylla. My father used to deliver supplies to the mining outpost there. Okay. This sounds kind of flimsy to me. It's true. My father collected some extra bits on the side by diverting some of the supplies to the gal. Aha. Uh -huh. The way he told it, he thought the book looked valuable, so he took it. Couldn't whoops. find any buyers when it turned out to not only be French, but banned as well. Extra whoops. What do you say, Vicar? Fine. But got more important things to do anyway. And we have another lead. And Reginald Cheney. Yeah, he gets to live. I mean, let's face it, we know exactly where he is. And we can always come back and go for the whole senseless violence option if that does turn out to be a... Uh, Bad lead he's given us. Right. Yeah, of course, Max. What's on your mind? I want to thank you for talking some sense into me back there with Cheney. You're welcome. It's been a long time since I gave in to my violent enthusiasm. Yeah, we all have our moments, Max. We all have our moments. Uh, but never mind that. Why did you feel the need to lie about Cheney? You're right. I owe you an apology. I've been so obsessed for so long. I couldn't see anything else. You offered me a place on your crew. Friendship. And I used you to get to Cheney. Yep. And even then, you saved me from myself. Yep. I don't know if I could live with myself had I gone through with it. You owe me nothing, I know, but I... I'm begging your forgiveness. And you've got it. We all get a little obsessed. Thank you. I promise... I'll be nothing but truthful from this point forward. Okay, by the way, what was it like being in prison? Oh, exactly as you'd imagine. Can't say I enjoyed the stint. It did provide me with plenty of time to think. I can Though believe I it. it. The universe was snapping me back to where I needed to be. You stray too far from the course of your destiny. The world will try to correct for it. Uh -huh. There's no such thing as destiny, Max. Unless you're in a world being written by scriptwriters, in which case there most definitely is, and all you can do is pick your options. And occasionally your poison. So, what's next? So, Max, we need to head needs to head out to Scylla. We also need to pick up those medbots while we're on Scylla. However, our next option is the secret lab in Cascadia. Okay, and of course, shaking down the Verst factory. Although that might turn out to be the worst possible option for this poor sod who's running it. Yeah, maybe we can find a compromise, maybe not. We also need to take care of a family matter. So Tucker Needham is dealt with. Caleb Herrick's on strike. And... Oh yes, Carlotta at Bayside Terrace needs some options as well. However, for the moment... Let's focus on the main option, which in this case is the space crime continuum. Have you seen Arthur today? Nah, last time I saw Arthur's probably dead. Let's be honest here. So away we go. E bonks. So to Cascade, 800 meters? Really? Really? 
Uh, we might end up taking the boss versus factory no instead. No, no, we didn't see you trip over it at all, Max. So why did you just blow the fact that you did trip over it by telling everyone that you tripped over it by asking anyone if they'd seen you trip over it? There's such a thing as keeping your mouth shut. Oh, hello. Oh, yes. Very easy. Okay, here we go. All right. Assault mode. And they're all dead. Almost all dead. Who who fired that? Who's that? Oh, there you are. Who's the scum-sucking, pistol-whipping hooligan who just signed their own death warrant? Ah, must have been them. Him. And now we're good. Excellent. Moving on. Do, 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 do. The Forlorn Crossroads and Cascadia is this way. Forwards! Forwards to the Forlorn... Well, away from the Forlorn Crossroads and into what looks like yet another Marauder roadblock. Just how many Marauder gangs are running this road anyway? Ugh. Assault. Don't switch to assault, in fact. Dead yet? Thank you. Oh, there you are, Pavati. Max, are you done playing? There we go. Do we need to find you a better melee weapon? Okay, and that looks like Cascadia, doesn't it? It's in approximately the right direction at approximately the right distance. And, ooh, more canids, fine. Reload the plasma, power it up. Actually, where's that grenade launcher gone? Oh, that didn't work. Ah, well, that was kind of disappointing, actually. There you are. Yay! Right. Founded skull fins. What have we got here? Ah, this would be Clive's factory, wouldn't it? Okay, well, the sewers should presumably be down here somewhere? Let's face it, you'd have a sewer emptying into a river. Ah, there we go. Well, this is going to be horrible, isn't it? All right, pick the lock. And we're in. So we're looking to either Doctor the Financials, sabotage the pig, sabotage Clive, fatally, or just talk him into selling up. You know, the usual normal method. Oh, hello, piggies. Right, restricted area. Okay, we don't have an ID card. We just need to stay away from the system pigs that absolutely aren't riddled with tumours or various other lovely things. Um, uh, we're not doing this discreetly, are we? Fine. And we're clear. Okay, we may not be entirely clear. Max! Oh, never mind. Yay! Shave out everyone else, and I think we may have just murdered half the factory's floor staff, which is going to hit production, but, um, bizarre. Also, boss factory reputation through the floor, which is somewhat awkward. Can we continue to do this discreetly? Or have I just terminally broken my relationship with this lot? I suspect I might have terminally broken my relationship with this lot. But hey, you're going to have some problems during a hostile takeover. What's this? Terminals. Greetings, authorised personnel. This is got five cans of possible mail per day. Each, not four, not six, not ten. Five. Don't care how much they seal. Medical 55. Increased daily vitamin administration by 4,000%. 
Inventory logs, okay. Present. Day corrupted, unknown cans, past. Zero, 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 30,186 cans. Where did he suddenly get this many cans of Borsverse from? Huh. Perfect. And now we can try to do this discreetly. Also, we need to get some medical skills in from somewhere. Which we know. Stuff. Hmm. On the other hand, overdosing the piggies on vitamins might actually be how you poison them. So that's probably a horrible idea. Remember, we're trying to take this place as intact as possible. Which may or may not be viable under the circumstances. Okay. So. There we are. Major daughter, like probably another sissy pig pen. Actually, it's the processing area. Um. Okay, let's just leave that to itself. Head up top and see if we can't have a look at some of the financials. Map. Okay, overlook covering the. Uh, option and the factory floor there which means we need to go through there right past both guards the shroud is about to start failing we're about to get an interrogation aren't we sealed door huh okay we're going this way anyway then Yoink. Well, this looks interesting this has a certain control room look to it doesn't it Use terminal. Okay, greetings, maintenance logs. 157 and clock of the machine consists of adipose tissues, bone, and indeterminate. Sinew hair, hemoglobin, pressing keystrokes, no, no, no. Oh dear. 16% um, adipose tissues, 15% bone. That would be roughly a uh, human, wouldn't it? Maintenance log 241. Okay, begin block post over pistol pleasure. I was only saying Alex when the others filled my lunch. P3 butter and purpleberry jelly. I'll have you know not boss and for good reason. Okay. I'm tempted to write to use the century auto makes new pink slip protocols. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's call the elevator. When meeting with the king, do not initiate conversation. I'm about to break all of those rules, aren't I? And what's this for? Okay. Hmm. Attention, everyone. I have an important announcement. Huh? What's going on? Never mind. Carry on. The king would like to invite you all for dinner. Ah, that would be an interesting way to do it. Okay, that is still sealed. I really need to dump some more points into things like persuasion and lying, don't I? Okay, so... Next stop is... Through here, by the looks of it. Very, very discreetly. Nope. Wait for the droid to walk away, because it probably won't be fooled. And anyway, the hollow shroud is running low on power. Tiquito's past. Toes past, the toes past. There we go. Now, up the ladder or across. Oh, guard. Hold still, hold still. Shush. Oh, bot's coming back. I think, yeah, we'll just wait for the bot to go away again. Careful, careful, careful. Long pause, there we go. Bot's heading away. Guard is not looking, but the guard over there is. So, just slip past. There we go. Oh, Monarch Wilderness. That's not actually where I need to be. Um, sudden realisation. There again, that is what looks like an elevator or staircase over on the other side of 
this room. So that might be useful for access, but this security bot will be coming back. Okay, there we go. Skedaddle. All nice and quiet like. Okay, we have a door. We also have some storage containers to loop dry. And. Right, we're through. Excellent, the lift. Really, this will get us up to the king. All right, come on up, girls and boy. Let's go talk to the boss. I was planning to sabotage the factory, but let's see if we can just talk him round on this one first. And fairly Matt, shoot him to pieces and take over in a more hostile fashion. Ah, Clive! Whoa, now. And just what do you figure you're doing up here? These are my private quarters, friend. I don't allow tours up here. I don't allow tours ever on deeper consideration. You've got... You're looking at three people, and <laughs> they're all heavily armed. What do you think this is? Also, you've got blood on your shirt. Certain things require a mess. Ah. See, I was just killing some time. Of course. I prefer to prepare my dinner by my own hand. Nothing like fresh and bloody forced worst. Yeah, those parts are from Sisty Pigs, are they? I do own a factory known for specializing in the canning of forced worst. On occasion, I like to imbibe other parts of the Sisty Pig. Eh, uh -huh. hey. me a cannibal? Perish the thought. No, I don't eat the bodies. I disappear. A joke, that last was. Of course. So, what can I do for you? My full attention is at your disposal. Captain, I would caution that we tread carefully through the remaining morass of this encounter. For yeah, you don't I'm say. Not. Well, his, now, mostly. Of your associate's cautious nature, I still teeter on the verge of losing my patience. Of course. Let us move forward with the present proceedings. Absolutely. Sublight sent me to kill you, but I'm sure we can work something out. By Sublight, you mean Catherine, do you not? That greedy, star-crossed sow. Listen, friend. The Borst King of Monarch does not negotiate with coveters. How about you bring me Catherine's severed head? I will gift you a lifetime supply of Borst. How about... Yeah, what if you and Catherine partnered up? Two great empires combined. You desire that I should lower myself to Catherine's level of crassness and filth? Yep. I cannot fathom how that would cotton myself. You want an export Can market, you don't you? Golden monopoly, brick by brick, from the rubble when the corpse abandoned monarch. No. He ain't the sort to partner up, as that requires the sharing of power and profits. But you need an export market. Uh, alright, Medical 55. Think I don't recognize human remains. Those aren't Sisty Pig, but I need to invest in some more medical skill, don't I? Ah, come on, she's a swell lady and a fine business partner. According to whom? Me. No, I don't see the advantage to me. Besides. Oh, well, in that case... Listen, friend. Um, you know what? You can choke on your lifetime supply of Borst. Piss. Well, Clive's dead. And ironically, that was probably the uh, option I needed to get 55 points of medical. Oh, right, his quarters are over here. Okay, sample A blue. Five's special board stay. Eh? Yeast. Okay. Welcome, King. Personnel files. Done files, all files have been terminated. Accessing dictation. Who would have thought it? Whole factory right for the tasting, and now the King, just me and the pigs and the machineries. Oh, righty. Executive dictation 108. The kings can self lead believe, but now I suffer a man, put your meat and money, power and privacy. Uh huh. Right. 
think I got it. Of course. Yes, marvellous. Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, I think we might have just done the world quite a considerable favour. Also, personal strongbox. Bonk. Yeah, also money. Yeah, you don't mind me, I'm just going to help myself here. There we go. Yeah, I uh, think we actually might have stumbled onto what could have been the best solution to this problem. Maybe. Perhaps. Possibly. So that was the lift we came in by. This is the lift that... Ah, right, secret exit. Of course. Okay, well, 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 well. Secret exit... Oh, we're still at the factory. Okay, and also we can't fast travel near hostiles. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, luckily, we're still disguised, so uh, we'll just pop this open, unseal the door. Oh, shit. No, no, we're fine. We're good, we're good. That was a really bad moment for the disguise to wear off. But, uh, oh, looky. More marauders. Excellent. Yep, he's on fire. And he's dead. And... Dead as well. Yes, absolutely. Don't mess with us at all. Oh, that is a mantisaur, is it? Oh, that's a mantiqui. This is a horrible idea, so let's start by taking out the baby. Right. Resistant plasma, ray. Eh? Okay, also resistant to um, everything else. Then again... Oop. And it's down. Huzzah! We've killed our first Manta Queen. How can we please stop being on fire? I'm just saying it's slightly distracting. Just ever so slightly. There we go. So. Uh, yeah. We'll carry on up towards our eventual destination, I think. And when we head back to Fallbrook, we'll uh, let's look the good news that Clive the Cannibal is dead. The Slaughterhouse Clive is no more. So it goes. Until next time, however, farewell.